Parade Commander now marches forward to report parade to His Excellency the President and Commander in Chief of the Republic of Sierra Leone Armed Forces so that he will proceed to inspect the parade. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness an inspection of the parade by the Excellency, the President and Commander in Chief of the Republic of Sierra Leone Armed Forces. He is led by two stick officers. Distinguished guys, ladies and gentlemen, the inspection has just begun. What a solemn moment here at the Armed Forces Training Center. We have His Excellency the President and Commander in Chief of the Republic of Sierra Leone Armed Forces, Supreme Head of State, Grand Commander of the Order of the Republic. Fountain head of unity, honor, freedom, and justice. His Excellency the President, the Brigadier General Retire, Dr. Julius Madabio, inspecting the parade. We thank God. Today is Friday, the third day of the ninth month of the year of our Lord, 2021. We are witnessing the presidential commissioning and passing out parade ceremony of the 2020-2021 Direct Entry Cadet Corps here at the Armed Forces Training Center, the Center of Excellence and Cradle of Military Knowledge.
guys that is here. This thing which gets me is an gentleman. He parried us spontaneously, brings into action.
Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. At any moment from now, the train will come to a halt. They will subsequently advance in review order and halt closer to the pavilion. From now, the parade will advance in evening order. to the president, distinguished guests, esteemed ladies and gentlemen, we shall now invoke the presence of God. To do that, I invite the forces Chief Padre and Imam to please come forward and lead us in prayers. Thank you. 
Commandant Peace Mission Training Center, Colonel George Mahmoud Bangu. 
痛啊！ Your Excellency。President and Commander-in-Chief of the Republic of Sierra Leone Armed Forces, Brigadier General Retired Julius Madapio, High Excellency the First Ladies, Minister and Deputy Ministers, Honourable Members of Parliament, Members of the Judiciary, Diplomatic and Consular Corps, the Chief of the Defence Staff, the Director General, Ministry of Defense, the Inspector General of Police, and heads of all security agencies, senior officers, both serving and retired, members of the press, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, all protocols duly observed. I heartily welcome you all to this commissioning Ceremony of 60 officer cadets from their first direct entry commissioning course. Today we are witnessing the ceremony of the crop of officers who nine months ago were selected out of numerous applicants from different parts of the country who have proudly and successfully gone through their officer cadet direct entry commissioning course at the Peace Mission Training Center, Hastings. It is the first time for civilians and young soldiers to be transformed into commission officers into the Republic of Sierra Leone Armed Forces from the Peace Mission Training Center. The Peace Mission Training Center is the home of the Republic of Sierra Leone Armed Forces Peacekeepers. Our mandate is to train Republic of Sierra Leone Armed Forces personnel for international peacekeeping operations. The unit was established in 2009 and has gained forces for deployment to Dakar in Sudan and to Somalia in 2013 and 2014. We continue to maintain the standard of the Republic of Sierra Leone Armed Forces personnel on the UN mandated pre deployment training models. I must give credit to the Peace Mission Training Center, which has transformed, tutored, and nurtured these young men and women to the end product we see before us today. From reports received during their training and the parade we witnessed today, there is ample evidence they have been put through the mills and have come out well refined. When, when the Peace Mission Training Center was tasked to train these young officer cadets, we saw an opportunity and a challenge. It was an opportunity to train young leaders from our institution's future. The challenge was the instructor's ability to train soldiers and civilians from basic soldier skills to competency and leadership. Because the instructors of the Peace Mission Training Center are traditionally akin to specialized training for peacekeeping operations and other professional development courses. During their screening process, thousands applied, and among them, a private cellu soiree was selected to train at the Royal Air Force. Officers Training Academy, Cranwell, in the UK. He started with us in October last year and left in February this year. He will be committed to the UK. The short list has 73 successful officer cadets. We are then inserted to start training, comprising 62 males and 11 females. Of these, we had 11 specialists. Officer cadets comprised of five medical doctors, two pharmacists, three nurses, and one Catholic priest. Within the third week of training, 
One officer cadet Calon reached the unit standing operational procedure and deserted the camp. He was not allowed to rejoin on disciplinary ground. The remaining 72 officer cadets continued the training until May this year when the 11 specialist officer cadets, nine males and two females, were commissioned at this venue. In the eighth month of training, Another officer cadet, Emmanuel Cabo, qualified to continue his training at the Sandos Military Academy in the UK. We have the final 60 successful officer cadets, 51 male and 9 female, ready to be commissioned here today. The training for our proud commissioning officer cadet lasted for nine months from the first of December to today. Within this period, four essential military knowledge and skills were taught. The emphasis was on developing their military leadership and skills, leadership characters, decision-making process and ability, physical fitness, skills at arm, Republic of Sierra Leone Forces policies and our doctrine. Key topics covered include food, arm, and sword drills, minor tactics, map reading, skills at arm, command, leadership, and management, which is the official trinity, the combat estimate, the orders process, military education, contemporary operating environment, internal security, and counter insurgency operations, communication skills and conventions on the conduct of war. As General Martin Dempsey, U.S. former chief, chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff, said in 2009, I quote, it is not practice that makes perfect, rather it is perfect practice that makes perfect. After all, it is the seemingly small disciplines and commitment to high standards and that makes us who we are together as a force in peace and in war on course. This training, which is the direct entry commissioning course, is the perfect practice for the officer cadet to strive for perfection. The course package delivered by instructors of the Peace Mission Training Center and some external facilitators from the Ministry of Defense Headquarters Joint Force Command, the Office of National Security, and Western Area Units. The course had a field trip to Headquarters 4 Infantry Brigade, where we were hosted by the Brigade Commander, who also delivered a key lecture on the Officer's Trinity. To all our external lecturers, your contribution were integral to the course, as they help broaden the knowledge of our Officer Cadet and, by extension, the units. We hope that whenever you are called upon, you will be obliged. The method of instructions were lectures, demonstrations and practice, continuous assessment and field training exercises. The training was climaxed by a week-long final exercise around the Freetown Peninsula, code name exercise final strike, and a written examination. The final exercise was meant to put their training skills into practice on complex and demanding field training maneuvers which interchange the roles. As we know, military training must prepare individuals to enter into arms way and perform physically and mentally demanding tasks at the highest possible level of proficiency. Exercise final strive demonstrated that they have the fortitude and preparedness to be commissioned into the answer. I want to congratulate the officers cadets for making history for themselves and the Peace Mission Training Center. The Peace Mission Training Center is pleased to say we admire you for your dedication and application in successfully passing this course. I must say though that you have done yourself proud. And all your instructors with your immaculate smartness and bearing on parade. Ahead of you lie years of service to the nation, which I have confidence you will perform with a traditional plan 
and selfless devotion to duty. Wherever your path leads, there will remain an unbreakable bond between all of you. That is a certainty, and it comes from together having met and overcome the considerable challenges you face on this course. I wish you all the very best in the ASLA, and we stress to you how much the ASLA we value your contribution in service for the nation. I urge you to be disciplined and to take discipline seriously. Without discipline, there will be no difference between military officers and any other. Our tactics, techniques, and practice may change, but our bedrock principles of this and discipline remain the same. Keep the army values of loyalty, duty, Respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage in mind always. The standard of held by officer is what distinguishes a good officer from a great one. Finally, I have to express my sincere appreciation to the President and Commander in Chief of the Republic of Sierra Leone Forces, President Mark Bio. Without whose support, the training of this battle commission officer would not have been possible. To the senior management of the Ministry of Defense and of the ASNA, we thank you for the trust you have in us. We present this forty officer care as finished product of our work. We thank the Chief of Defense Staff, the Assistant Chief of Defense Staff, the Director General, and the entire Ministry of Defense for their support to the training. We thank the Commander Joint Force and Headquarter Joint Force Command for their role in supporting the training. I am privileged to say special thanks to again our Excellency, our President and Commander in Chief for the Republic of Sierra Leone Forces for the vehicles we can see part at the back of the parade. They are critical assets for the conduct of border control operations and the fight against cross border crimes. The senior management of the Ministry of Defense extend their appreciations on behalf of the troops, for which we are very pleased. Thank you, sir. Once more, I want to thank the instructors of the Peace Mission Training Center and the staff. Thanks and appreciation to the Commandant of the Armed Forces Training Center and his staff for hosting us. I welcome you all and I thank you for taking time off your busy schedules to be here with us. I wish you all an entertaining stay and safe traveling masses hereafter. Thank you all. God bless us all. Many thanks to the Commandant's Peace Mission Training Center, Colonel George Mahmoud Bangura, for that welcome address. The current item on the program is the presentation of awards. There are two categories of awards this year. First category is the Commander Joint Force Award for Best Military Essay, Direct Entry Commissioning Calls 2020-2021. The second category of award is the Normal Training Award. We will start with the Commander Joint Force Best Military Essay Award. The Commander Joint Force Award for Military Essays for the direct entry commission in call 2020-2021 is divided into three categories. Best essay, second best essay, and third best essay. These awards are won by deserving officer cadets who have demonstrated exceptional writing skills, logical analytical abilities, sound and reasonable judgment of the respective topic with prudent and honest recommendations. Third Best Military Essay. This award is proudly sponsored by M. Alpha Valley Enterprise, number 18 Galizin Street, Freetown, by courtesy of the manager. The winner of this award will receive the latest version of an Android phone. This award goes to the officer cadet who has written the third best military essay. He distinguished himself in the arts of writing and demonstrated enormous writing skills and analytical abilities on the given topic. He offered critical and logical analysis of the issues discussed in the essay with 
by spotting practicable and achievable recommendations. The winner of this award for the Direct Entry Commission Report 2020-2021 was on the topic, Substance Abuse in the Military. Alcohol intake and illegal drugs remain a problem in the armed forces. How can it be destroyed? Your Excellency the President, distinguished guests, esteemed ladies and gentlemen, the third place winner of the Commander Joint Force Award for Best Military Essay is Officer Cadet T.A. Siapa. I respectfully invite the Assistant Chief of Defense Staff Personnel, Brigadier General Joseph Sai Bukaimako, to present this award to Officer Cadet T.A. Siapa. Thank you very much, sir, for presenting that award. Second Best Military Essay. This award is proudly sponsored by Salim Trading Services, 63 Upper Brook Street, Freetown, by courtesy of Mr. Salim Fenka. The winner of this award will be the proud recipient of the latest version of a HP laptop. This award goes to the officer cadet who is second in distinguishing himself in the arts of writing and has demonstrated enormous writing skills and ability on the given topic by providing critical and logical analysis of the issues discussed in the essay with corresponding practicable and achievable recommendation. The winner of this award for the Direct Entry Commission in Course 2020-2021 wrote on the topic, The Republic of Sierra Leone Armed Forces Engagement on Peace Support Operations. Your Excellency the President, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the second place Thank you very much, sir, for presenting the award.
Humility Essay Award. This award is proudly sponsored by Unique Solution Company Limited, number two, Mada Bio Street, Kenema, by courtesy of CEO Ibrahim Dim. The winner of this award will be a proud recipient of the latest version of the HP laptop. This award goes to the officer cadet who has written the best military essay. She distinguished herself in the arts of writing by demonstrating enormous research, writing skills, and analytical abilities of the given topic. She also examined the topic in a well-structured, logical, and comprehensive manner. She provided critical and logical analysis of the issues discussed in the essay with corresponding practicable and achievable recommendations. The winner of this award for the direct entry commissioning call 2020-2021 wrote on the theme, Post-Traumatic Stress Disorder in the Military. Military service can cause a number of mental health concerns. Is the government doing enough to combat PTSD in the military? Your Excellency the President, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the first place winner of the Commander Joint Force Award for Best Military Essay is Officer Cadet T.Y.I. Masuba. I respectfully invite Madam First Lady, Mrs. Fatima Bill, to present this award to Officer Cadet T.Y.I. Masuba. Thank you very much, sir, for presenting that award. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Next up is the best female award. The winner of the 2020-2021 the SNT Commission in Cause Best Female Award was born on 22nd December 1996 in Makeli and attended the St. Francis Senior Secondary School. She holds a BSc Honors Degree in Public Health from the University of Makeli. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, esteemed ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the 2020-2021 Diet NT Cadet Corps Best Female Award is Officer Cadet M. Kula. I respectfully invite the Honorable Minister of Defense, Brigadier General Retired Kelly Hassan Conte, to present this award. Cadet goes to Officer Cadet El Karim. It is my singular honor and privilege to respectfully invite Your Excellency the President, Commander in Chief of the Republic of Sierra Leone Armed Forces, Brigadier General Retired Dr. Julius Madabio, to kindly present this award. Our heartfelt gratitude to you, Mr. President, for presenting that award. It's now time once again for me to hand over the mic to my boss and co-announcer, Group Captain John Alfred Sagundo, who is also the Director of Defense, Public Relations and Information, and the Military Spokesman. Thank you.
please be reminded that this program is coming to you live at your home. Courtesy of the Africa Young Voices and the Sierra Leone Broadcasting Corporation. Thank you. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we have now come for the 15th ceremony of the government. For the 15th ceremony, the expect of the president and the government chief of the Republic of Sierra Leone to lead this. The Honorable Minister of Defense and the Chief of Defense Staff, Republic of Sierra Leone Armed Forces.
young cadets have now become officers. while scholars are still waiting their turn. 